Hello and welcome to my channel. In this tutorial we're gonna do this uh, stitch. I don't know if I should call it mesh or something like that, but you know, it's made with front post, back post, double crochet, and it's a little bit open the, the space if you like to, to make. This is the back and this is the front. I think for a shawl, late autumn or whatever, spring, I think it's nice to, to make this one, or even a blanket that if you like, but it's not reversible. The back looks like this, the front looks like this. It's a very easy stitch to do. You're gonna have to chain multiples of two plus one more. So I chain my multiples of two and I'm gonna chain one more. Okay, now what are we gonna do? We're gonna skip the the first two chains one two and in the third chain yarn over the hook we're gonna go in there and we're gonna do a double crochet chain one yarn over the hook skip the next chain and in the next chain we're gonna do a double crochet chain one skip the next chain and in the next we're gonna do a double crochet so we're gonna do like this until the end of the row. Chain one, yarn over the hook, skip the next chain, and in the next we're gonna do a double crochet. Chain one, skip the next chain, and in the next do a double crochet. Chain one, yarn over the hook, Skip the next chain and in the last chain we're gonna do a double crochet. Chain three. Turn your work. And now yarn over the hook. We're gonna go to the first uh, double crochet. So in behind this one, well let's just say we're gonna do a front post double crochet. So insert your hook behind that double crochet, pull up a loop, pass the, the yarn to the first two loops, pass the yarn to the last two, chain one, yarn over the hook, move to the next double crochet and we do a front post double crochet, chain one, yarn over the hook, move to the next double crochet and we're gonna do the same, front post double crochet, chain one, yarn over the hook, move to the next double crochet and we're gonna do a front post double crochet, chain one, yarn over the hook and we have here a double crochet and the chain that we skipped in the beginning so behind this double crochet we're gonna do a front post double crochet and this time we're not going to chain yarn over the hook and we're going to go on top of the, the third one, two, three, the third chain we're going to go in there into the chain and we're going to do a double crochet chain three leave this third one a little bit loose if you work too tight turn your work it's going to look like this now yarn over the hook we have the first double crochet let's say so we're gonna do a back post double crochet so yarn over the hook and you go behind the work and you kind of wrap around your crochet hook around that double crochet pull up a loop pull the yarn to the first two loops pull the yarn to the last two chain one yarn over the hook and we're gonna move to the next double crochet and we're gonna do the same back post double crochet chain one, yarn over the hook, move to the next and you do the same, back post, double crochet, one row is going to be with chain one, one row is going to be with front post double crochet, the next row is going to be with back post double crochet, so yarn over the hook, move to the next double crochet, pull up a loop, pass the yarn to the first two loops, pass the yarn to the last two, chain one, yarn over the hook, move to the next 
and the last double crochet of the row and we're doing the same back post double crochet and like I said the last one we don't chain so yarn over the hook go on top of the third chain one two three go on top of the third one inside the chain pull up a loop and do a double crochet chain three one two and the third turn your work it's gonna look like this and now because we did the, the last row was back post this row is gonna be front post yarn over the hook and we're gonna go from front pull up a loop pull the yarn to the first two loops last two chain one and we're gonna move to the next and we're gonna do this row front post double crochet chain one And you move to the next front post double crochet yarn over the hook and the last one here I'm gonna do front post double crochet and we're not gonna chain one <coughs> yarn over the hook we reach the the chain three one two three go on top of the third this one and you're gonna do a double crochet And you're going to chain three, turn your work, it's going to look like this, and this is the front. Yeah, so you're going to alternate rows. So now we're going to do back post double crochet. So yarn over the hook, the first back post is here, this is the, the chain three, and here it's the, the double crochet, let's say. So you go from behind pull up a loop, do a double crochet, chain one, yarn over the hook, move to the next one and we're gonna do the same, back post double crochet, so this row is gonna be only with a back post double crochet, so you're gonna chain one after you do that and you go to the next back post double crochet, chain one, yarn over the hook, move to the next this one, chain one, yarn over the hook, the last one that we have to do, back post, double crochet, and this time we're not going to cha mm, chain one, so we reach the chain three, one, two, three, go on top of the third chain, search your hook in there, do a double crochet, chain three, turn your work, I think I'm gonna make this row and then I'm gonna stop yeah. so now we're gonna yarn over we have now the row with the front uh, post double crochet chain one yarn over the hook, move to the next one front post double crochet and that's about it chain one the next one, front post. Yeah, I think if you like to to make a, a bag or something for for a summer that can breed the things in there, I think this one is nice and it's sturdy. So the last one is here. We're gonna do a front post double crochet. We're now gonna chain one, yarn over the hook. And we we'll reach the, the chain three, one, two, three. So we're gonna go on top of the chain third there, do a double crochet, chain three, and you're gonna now we're gonna start with a back post double crochet. So when you're gonna see them here like this, then you will know that you have to do back post if you don't remember. But you're always gonna do the, the back post with these lines, the the face of the material. And when you have to do the front post, you're going to have these lines here. So this is it. It's very easy. And I think for a, for a shawl or a blanket, it's a little bit meshy. And if you have a soft yarn, this is acrylic and it's kind of hard and, and sturdy. Yeah, but I think this is really nice. If you look at it, it's really nice. 
as a mesh and if you like to work with uh, let's say uh, thin yarn I think it's nice this is the front and this is the back even the back looks nice and if you want to make a blanket you have the, the chains here on the side that you can put some border if you like this is it. Okay, well, thank you for, for watching. Have a good day. Bye-bye.